Today, I'm going to attempt to do Scrum in two minutes or less. Hi, this is Gary. Welcome to Development That Pays. Scrum is one of a number of agile software development methodologies. In very broad terms, the product owner decides what to build, the development team builds it, and customers use it, experience it, benefit from it in some way. That's software development. What makes it agile is that value is delivered to the customer in small, regular increments. And any feedback from the customer is, well, fed back into the process. It's the product owner's job to take input from customers and from a range of other sources and use it to create a prioritized list of features and user stories. That's known as the product backlog. As it stands, this picture could apply to a number of different agile methodologies. What makes Scrum Scrum is how things work in here. As we'll see, there are a number of routines and rituals that go along with Scrum, and it's the job of the Scrum Master to help the product owner and the development team to develop and maintain good habits. Scrum teams work in a series of sprints, most commonly two weeks in duration. Each sprint is preceded by a sprint planning meeting attended by the Scrum Master, the dev team, and the product owner. Together, they select high priority items from the product backlog that the dev team believe it can commit to delivering in a single sprint. The selected items are known as the sprint backlog. For the next two weeks, the dev team focus on working through the items in the sprint backlog. Each day during the sprint, there's a daily scrum meeting where the attendees take turns to say what they did yesterday, what they plan to do today, and whether they have any blockers. At the end of the sprint, the completed work is packaged for release. The sprint ends with two rituals. The sprint review, which gives the dev team a chance to demonstrate new functionality to stakeholders and the sprint retrospective, which is an examination of what went well, what went badly, and what could be improved. The aim of the retrospective is to ensure that the next sprint is more efficient and effective than the last. And that's Scrum in two minutes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. There's a new episode of Development That Pays each and every Wednesday. By far the easiest way to get it is to subscribe to this channel. Hit the big red button and I look forward to talking to you again very soon. Cheers for now.